Hi, my name is Angie Helstrip Alvarez and I'm the Executive Director at MACLA. We're a contemporary Latino arts center located in San Jose's downtown arts and culture district on South First Street. We're getting ready for Latino Art Now. It's our 16th annual Latino art auction and exhibition. I hope you'll come down and join us on Saturday, April 26th, beginning at 6 p.m. for our live auction and our big fundraiser of the year. It's a wonderful event. We have lots of great art here that you can purchase, take home with you, and we're gonna have Elvez as our celebrity auctioneer and guest MC. Um, the auction helps support Makla's programs where we serve over 30,000 people each year and we have programs here in our gallery, our visual arts exhibitions, our performance programs and also our Youth Arts Academy where youth learn how to create videos, um, music and other forms of digital media. My name is Dino Rodriguez. I am an artist and this is Macla. And uh, we're having a discussion about what it is to be a Latino artist. And if is there such a thing as Latino art and artist? Uh, I don't think there is such a thing as Latino art. I think there is art and it's a universal language because art transcends uh, borderlines and uh, language and everything. So I only said that there is art and artists make art without having to label themselves. Thank you.
most things are universal, and I don't think you need to be particularly related to a, a specific country to understand uh, the language of love, of suffering, or being hungry, or being thirsty, being tired. Those are things that transcend those, you know, boundaries. And also, as an artist, I'm always running away from labels. Uh, I don't particularly uh, care much for defining myself as this or that, you know, whether it's uh, either gay, Latino, uh, San Francisco. <laughs> None of that stuff really uh, exists when I'm painting. I'm just a human being telling a human story that I am participating in to whoever is willing and interested in listening to or viewing my story. So, so what happens when so we... So the, 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 the answer is actually very ambiguous and it's probably not a specific... Um, probably expected a better answer, but I guess what I'm trying to say is that there's so much gray in between the, 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 the answer, you know, there is no specific answer. Uh, there is no answer when you look at my work out there. I don't want you to find an answer. I want you to have an experience more than anything else. Uh, go ahead. What happens when we, what happens then when someone is, you know, just doing universal work and then, you know, we, we show you an exhibition of contemporary Latino arts? Or you don't care? I mean, do you uh, care, do you not care? It's our job as, as galleries, art, as venues. I, I, I was going to say, uh, when I'm making art, I'm not specifically thinking of myself, I'm boxing myself, but people will do that for you. So, I don't do it, but other people will do it. They will go and say, oh, this is the Latino artist, this is the Chicano artist, this is the, you know, so many labels. You have to let go, because you don't have control over it. You basically put the work out there, and people can say whatever the, they want. Um, they can make their own stories, you know? If they're comfortable with saying Latino artist, I'm fine with it. Define it as, I mean, like I'm saying, it's really beyond your control. And if you want to control that, you're going to go crazy. So people can say whatever they want, and you know, they can perceive whatever they want. That's why it's art, because it's open to interpretation. You know? And uh, I think uh, it's, that's the beautiful thing about making art that uh, it doesn't, you don't have to label it, you know, you don't have to say, this is this. You can just look at it and go, oh, I'm having an experience and then transcend those boundaries. Um, I think art, it's about freedom. It's about getting, you know, flying away. I think it's about transcending just the physical experience and transcending boundaries and borders, language, sex, gender, blah, 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 etc. It's, it's ultimately uh, an experience that you have to transcend all those boundaries. And I think most artists will agree with me that when you're making art, you are trying to free yourself from the chains that bind you down to either labels or you know names or whatever. Thank you. Yeah. So if you come and join us at Makla during the day, our regular gallery hours, Wednesdays and Thursdays, 12 to 7 p.m or Fridays and Saturdays from 12 to 5 p.m., you're probably gonna come in and meet Melina Ramirez. Melina is our program assistant here at MACLA in our gallery, and she'll welcome you to MACLA. She'll share with you some things about this exhibition, or perhaps if you come during another time, another exhibition, and answer any questions. And so Melina is really great. She's been with us now in various capacities for many years. She started out as a teenager, uh, participating in our digital photography program, and since then has gone on, graduated from Santa Clara University, and now joined our team at MACLA full-time this past year. Hi, my name is Melina Ramirez, and I'm the program's assistant here at MACLA. I graduated from Santa Clara University in 2012 with a degree in, in studio art, and I've been working here at MACLA as a program's assistant for about a year and a half now. MACLA has become a big part of my life, and I'm hoping that you'll let it become part of yours, too. Hi, I'm Melina, and I'm the program's assistant for MACLA. 
Movimiento de Arte y Cultura Latinoamericana. We're located on 510 South 1st Street in downtown San Jose. If you'd like more information about our programming, you can reach us at m-a-c-l-a-a-r-t-e dot org. That's maclaarte dot org. You can also reach us by phone number at 408-998-2783. I'm in our gallery space, which is open from, Thursday, from Wednesday to Thursday, 12 to 7, and Friday to Saturday, 12 to 5 p.m. Our current exhibition is Latino Art Now, MACLA's 16th Annual Latino Art Auction. One of our sculptural pieces is by local ceramic artist, Pancho Jimenez. This piece reflects the importance of, of the moon and its form in pre-Columbian pre culture. For him, the sun and the moon, shapes of the pyramids in the Teotihuacan culture, captures both its meaning and its beauty. In addition to work from international artists, MACLA's Latino Art Now exhibition also features work from local artists. Here we have a piece by local artist Yolanda Guerra, who works primarily in textiles as a way to pay homage to, to the women who helped preserve the Latin American culture. This piece is actually a functional one. It's actually a purse that you can put your cell phone or anything you'd like in it, but it's meant to resemble a tamale. This is part of Yolanda Guerra's this is part of Yolanda Guerra's larger series, titled the Miracle Tortilla Series, which pays homage to extraordinary women.